Hello, it's Sarah. Happy New Year. Um, today I have an interesting share because I found something else to do. Um, it all started because my t I'm in my dining room, so I have sh it's the I'm trying to keep the glare away. But it started because I saw a video by Nurse Tara, 04, and she had um, a pocketbook chunky charm. She was making chunky charms for her family for Christmas. And I had this hanging on my pocketbook, which it's right here, I'll show you. It's, so it's a, like it's browns and golds. So I made like gold findings and stuff. So I made this charm. I've had this hanging on my pocketbook. And I just got back from Maryland and I noticed while I was gone, or you know, in the car actually, I was looking at it and I had it attached by a jump ring and the jump ring was getting opening up. I had attached my chain to the clasp with a jump ring. So Tara's got this video that she shows how to wire wrap a bead to keep that from happening. And so that's what started it. So <laughs> I'm looking through her other videos and she had a recent share of some resin that she had done. And I was just like, wow, that's cool. She was doing it, she was using this mold here. This is um, a resin mold that I actually got this one at AC Moore, but it was, I'm pretty sure this was like the exact mold she had um, because she was using these two and she was making um, names for her daughters. I think one was Alaya and uh, I forget their names, but with these little, um, letter uh, beads. So I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. She was also putting um, candy in the back of it. And my granddaughter is a candy fiend. So anyway, that just clicked for me. I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to do that. I want to try that. So when we got home from our holiday travels, I went and got some resin. And I'm using the um, Easy cast resin, they sell that at Michael's AC Moore like all over. I don't have the box handy with me. Um, I've been watching every resin video out there and I just wanted to share what I've discovered, um, my trials and tribulations with it. Um, I've only done three pours, pretty much three pours I would say. I've done some doming. I don't really know what glazing is because I'm not sure if you do that with the resin or if it's another product. I'm kind of figuring that out still. But I wanted to give a couple shout outs. Um, my favorite, favorite tutorial was, um, oh, I don't even have it listed on my list. Where's my book? I'm sorry, I have to totally give her props because her tutorial was a four part tutorial. It's Crafter's Delights. Crafters Delights, Amy, um, has a four-part tutorial, um, and she goes through everything. The first part is on, like, safety, um, what supplies you need. The second part is, you know, it, I mean, it's just very thorough. She's very, very good with um, her words. Like, she takes her time. She's It's almost like she's scientific with it. So it's a very good one if you're um, thinking about doing this. She gives you every all the stuff you need to get started. Um, but then of course you see there's Craft Clatch out there and she does um, uh, coasters. So I just ordered some coaster molds. That's the other thing, you need molds. So this one I got at, this was like pretty much the only resin mold they had at the craft stores when I had a look. But I got this, this is, um, it's an ice cube tray actually, but it is silicone. And you can use those. These are um, the Wilton silicone um, molds, I guess. And these are the holiday ones. So this was like four bucks, regularly 12, but it was like 60% off or 70% off. So I got it because I figured I'll, I'll play with these and try and make some holiday like ornaments or whatever. I'll, I'll figure something out with it. It was four bucks. I figured I'd hang on to that. I think I got a snowflake one too, but this is the Wilton. I think this is like a brownie or a bite size cake mold, um, something like that, but it's a really nice size. I like the um, squareness of it because what I started with was this. These are just silicone cupcake tin things or whatever. I don't even know, but 
What I'm finding is I wish they didn't have this ridge on them. They're a really nice size. I like the size of them, but I don't know. I think I'd rather have a plain edge to them. So, um, of course, I'm probably going to look for those now. But, you know, it's just another thing that I'm spending money on. So I wanna, I'll, I'll just go ahead and share um, some of the things. The first attempt was a pretty much a fail. Pretty much everything failed because... I didn't, I hadn't watched enough videos. I just went ahead and did whatever I needed to do and, or thought I needed to do and it wasn't what you needed to do. So this one, I don't even know what's in here anymore. I think there's charms in there or something. I don't even know. But when I put, put the glitter in, it just all fell to the front. And so it's, it's failed. And the same thing here. I think there's some type of charm in here. See, you can see a little silver charm. Oh, you know what it is? It's a skull. It's one of those skulls with the little um, flower in the hair. Because this one's charms too. And again, the glitter just fell forward. So, wasted a couple charms. They're in the resin. Can't get them out. This one was a button. And I mean, you can still see the button. And I put gold glitter. So you can, you can tell that like it's stuck to the back and it's stuck to the front. But that's not what you wanted to do. So that was my first pour, pretty disappointing. Um, actually, the candy ones turned out the best because I only just poured resin on top of candy so that you couldn't really go too wrong with that. This was actually not my first pour. This was my first pour with the candy. And what else did I do with candy for my first pour? I think the buttons were my first pour. But again, you can't go wrong because I was just pouring plain resin in there. So it's just clear except for the candy. So those were okay. I'm trying to find the other candy ones I did. I could have sworn I had another candy one. This one. Oh, and sweet. So I think this was, this might have still been my second pour, but still the letters got moved. That one's upside down. And when you do this, you have to make sure your letters are upside down in the mold because if not, they'll come out backwards. But I did put a bail on it and it's, you know, it's a cute little charm. I don't know. I just think that's such a cute idea. I totally stole that from Nurse Tara. And I made this charm. This was like, I think my second pour or third, but then I started playing with coloring the resin, which is a whole nother thing. But I made this one and it's just glitter. But you can see how the letters are in the front and it's just resin with the letters. And then the glitter is behind the letters. So there's a trick to it. You have to wait for the resin to set up a little bit to get tacky. Um, I wonder if that's the right terminology. Don't listen to me. You have to go and watch these tutorials for yourself and really follow along with someone who's really good at it because, oh, this was one. I really like this one, but see that one dragonfly kind of got crooked. He wasn't stick down right or, you know, stuck up to the, well, it would be like this because you pour like that. So it's upside down, but I thought that was a cute idea. And then I just put glitter, but the glitter floated and stuck and it didn't lay right. So I'm going to try that one again because that looks really cool. All right. So let me just show you a couple that did turn out after a while. Um, this is Maya's charm. I showed you that, but I have these little heart. Um, the only bales I had were these hearts and that was just a little too big to put on the back of this. So I just hung a little, it says imagine on the back and a charm and just put a jump ring there. And so she likes it. Uh, when I made her a hello kitty ring, here it is. This is her Hello Kitty ring. It, it's another thing about these puffy stickers, they float. So you have to, people say you have to babysit them or either you should pull the backing off the sticker and take the air out of it. And then you could just use the front of it. But it turned out okay. This was like my second pour, so I'm getting better. Each time you do it, you learn a little bit. Um, there's some really good people out there who know what they're doing. I really wish Lady Jarhead, she just makes resin by the by the bunch and but she, there's no tutorials like she's not sharing anything um and they do tiles huge pieces like they'll do a mixed media canvas in a resin piece like i'm gonna go away and come back